and we're back with what I believe will be the last preview of Dominion Menagerie, and that is this event, Desperation. Desperation is a zero cost event. It says once per turn, you may gain a curse. If you do, plus one buy, plus two money. So this is very powerful, but shouldn't be used very often within a game, I think, typically. Let's talk about uh, use cases for it. Um, I don't know how it interacts with Trader, first of all, because Trader is if you would gain. So I think how it interacts with Trader is you can buy this to try to gain, to gain a curse, and then if you react to the Trader, you gain a silver instead of the curse, but then you didn't gain the curse, so you don't get the money or the buy. But it's still a once per turn, so once per turn with Trader in hand, you can buy a silver for zero, I think is how that interaction goes, but don't just take my word for it because, you know, it's quite early in the morning and I could be remembering wrong, etc., 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, what else? Uh, I think in the opening, it depends, but usually you're going to want to use this, I don't know, once in the opening to get uh, a key five or six. It's going to be um, worth it to get, but you really don't want to take so many curses, so I would not be double opening this, opening this every turn very often. Um, it's slightly more attractive to take this if there are cursing attacks, probably, because you're going to be getting the curses anyway, but even in that case, you don't want to accelerate the rate at which you get them very much. Um, the best combo that I can think of off the top of my head is Watchtower. This is just free money. If the, you have a Watchtower unplayed in hand because you gain the curse and then immediately trash it. Um, what else has it got going on? Uh, it's kind of like a borrow as well, right? Um, you get an extra money and buy compared... Well, no, you get the same amount of buys, but you get an extra money compared to borrow. Uh, but you get a curse instead of a smaller next hand. Um, if you have some way of trashing and you're drawing your deck, uh, the two extra money is, is likely to be worth it um, in a significant number of cases. If you're able to trash that curse, you have enough deck control that it's unlikely to hurt you too much. Um, and if the two money actually makes you know some kind of real difference for you. Also, do watch out on the curse pile running out, um, because that's going to turn off your ability to do anything with this. So be aware that that could happen. And be aware that you may need to take the last curse extra from your opponent to stop them from being able to do this desperation play. Uh, taking the last curse extra itself kind of being a desperation play. But say you're, you know, your opponent has 14 or 15 money, and if they double province, you're going to lose. You might take that last curse uh, to stop them from being able to double province and basically give you an extra turn, right? Again... Like most of these kinds of plays I talk about, I don't think that's going to come up very much. Uh, but I also don't think that it's going to come up like never. And a few percent of games where this is in, I think it might come up. Having said that, um, this might be strong enough that the curses run reasonably frequently. I, it's a little hard for me to know right now. I expect basically this could to get used like once or twice near the start, but you really don't want to take too many curses because they hurt a lot. Um, and you need something good at five or six to, to get this for. I'm talking altar, I'm talking count, I'm talking recruiter, right? I'm talking probably witch. I'm not talking um, royal seal. I'm not talking, uh, well, royal seal is like kind of notoriously bad, but I'm not talking even like medium cards uh, that cost five. Like, I don't want to open this to get a tormentor very often. Uh, artisan, maybe. Goons, maybe. Uh, but it's mostly going to be like Sentry or Altar or maybe Crop Rotation or Recruiter. 
um, you know, just the really strong, especially strong early game cards that are going to help you thin significantly, mostly, but get deck control. Um, and then I think, obviously, if there are enough curses left, it's going to be an end game tool because, you know, if I'm ending the game, then the two money might well be worth the curse. I'm not going to see the curse, or at least I'm not going to see it very often. Um, but in the middle of the game, I think you're going to need to have deck control uh, to be able to fairly reliably trash the curse and be fine with that. Uh, but if you do, then maybe that's fine. Um, maybe Doctor is another another opening thing that this might, might enable well, because you get a two money, lets you trash two extra cards, and you're gaining one extra junk card, right? So that might be worth it. You get a bigger overpay on your Doctor, and perhaps you can even trash the curse and be a an extra card of trash or discard or top deck ahead in that case. Um, yeah, so I think that's where I am with this. A uh, fairly simple thing. Uh, the set, I think, is due to be released tomorrow. And my review of all the remaining cards, which is about half the set, uh, cards and events and ways, about half the set, I think, has remained uh, unpreviewed at this point. Uh, my review should be up tomorrow, assuming the set does come out tomorrow, but it probably won't be as early tomorrow as this. This is assuming you're watching this on the day that I've recorded it, which you may or may not be, of course, but um, yeah, it'll probably come out later in the day just because it's harder for me to find the two hours to do that review uh, all at once early in the day as opposed to the, you know, five to ten minutes to record these ones. So, anyway, uh, that'll be that. And uh, if there's some nice combo I've missed, or if some way I'm severely misevaluating this, please let me know in the comments. And uh, we'll talk to you all again, I think, tomorrow, again, later in the day, with the rest of the Dominion Menagerie set. Thanks, everybody.